Magic the Gathering Arena is live and should you even be playing that game? This is Pablo with PND and that's what I think about it. So I remember my first time playing Magic the Gathering. It actually feels like it was yesterday. And that may be because it was yesterday. And Magic the Gathering is a game that came out in 1993 with their first online platform in 2002. And, okay, I did play the 2002 Match the Gathering online for about two months until I realized that six and seven year old kids are mopped the floor with my poor little body. So why did I even try to play Match the Gathering Arena? Well, YouTube reasons. But I guess, no, I'm a renaissance man and renaissance men like me, we don't ask for directions, we don't read manuals or anything like that, but uh, yeah. Match the Gathering Arena forced you to. And to be honest, I could not actually complain about it. I was a little upset at the beginning, but then when I started playing it, I realized that I needed it. And I'll be honest with you guys, the tutorial actually taught me how to play the game, something that in 2002 I really didn't know. But the tutorial does actually make you be overly confident until the last boss when it pretty much like let go of your hand and don't tell you that. And then you completely get destroyed about five times in a row and finally you pass the boss and you realize that, well, I have an idea what I'm doing. Until you play your first player match and you realize you still don't, but you keep trying. But I'll be honest with you guys, I really like the way the game is set up. It pretty much like gives you clues of what you can do and what you can't do. And it helped me a lot. And it was funny. The funniest thing is that for a good like two hours, I just kept losing and losing and losing and losing. And then at about the two hour mark, something started changing. Now, I'm not going to say that I was winning against like top players or anything, but I was winning ag uh, against people that actually had a little bit of a clue of what they were doing. And the, the reason why I can say that is because the way they had their deck set up. I didn't realize that at the time that their deck was pretty well set up and they had some cards I didn't. But even the times I didn't win, I kept getting myself out there and I wasn't being completely destroyed. And after a while, I just start winning matches. And I'll be honest, it wasn't just because of me. Yeah, I, I do understand games and I can pretty much figure out a lot of stuff, but the game also helped a lot. And I realized how important that tutorial that I didn't want to actually do helped me. The other good, good thing that I thought about the game is as you level up, it gives you some free decks for you to play with. And also you get some free packs of cards that I have not opened yet because I don't know if I'm gonna actually eventually decide to pay for the game and be able to use some of those stacks. So I'm just holding them for a while. And the other thing is, I believe you can level up to level 100. And if you have a, an account that you actually pay for packs and everything, you would actually get some extra stuff. Now, one thing you can do is you level up as a non paying player. And whenever you decide to actually go for it, Magic the Gathering will actually give you all the retroactive rewards you would have gotten if you had been paying from the beginning. So honestly, it's a great game to try and even play for a while. And the most if you want to get into Magic the Gathering, I am not fully confident that in 24 hours I could just go, you know, and play, and play the card game against someone without annoying the hell out of them because I still have some rules that I need to rehearse a little bit of when I can or cannot play certain cards, but besides that, I mean, it's 24 hours and honestly, I played two months before and I couldn't understand what I could do or what I couldn't do. The community in the game is pretty awesome, besides for one or two guys that they have really, 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 really good packs, uh, decks. And they like to show it off and pretty much be playing one turn for like 15 minutes just to show off and they could have killed you in the first five. But they just keep looping and looping and looping before they actually destroy you. But you know, to be honest, I just took it all as fun and I just let them do it. I could have just given up the game, but if they want to do it, I had the time. But yeah guys, uh, like I said, I think everybody should try this game. Uh, if you never played Magic the Gathering, it will actually get you to the point that you actually 
can play the game and survive a little bit and actually evolve with the, the game itself. And if you guys see me around, BND EAD, stop by and say hello. Anyway guys, I just want to thank you to get to this point in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know if you guys are going to try the game or not, uh, what you thought about the game, thought about the tutorials, and I'll be seeing you guys in a few days. Have a great weekend, take care.